Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic here. Um, it's 11:30, and I am making a video to help people with iPhone Touch 2Gs and iPhone 3Gs get AirPrint. If you aren't aware, um, if you have an iPod Touch 2G or iPhone 3G, AirPrint has been disabled for you guys, or not disabled, but it's not in it. Uh, it being iOS 4.2.1. Uh, like the final release that Apple just released, um, they didn't include AirPrint. So if you have a compatible printer, you can't, um, you are not going to be able to use AirPrint if you don't have a uh, newer version of an iDevice. So I have a program I'm going to help you um, with. To, uh, it's going to help you get uh, AirPrint. It's not going to be... Um, print like native air print like right from your uh, iPod or iPhone to your printer but it's gonna be almost identical so as you can see this is an iPod Touch 2G and it has the print just to show you guys that I'm not lying to you let's just open up my settings um, wait for it to load about and as you can see about as you can see uh, it's an MB model running 4.2.1 it's 8 gigabyte so if you're interested continue watching the tutorial if you're not interested go away you're gonna need three things for this to uh, for this to work you're gonna need a, uh, well four things technically you're gonna need an iPhone iPod touch 2g iPod touch non MC model so MB model and iPhone 3g if you have those, you're good to go to the next step. The next step is you're going to have to jailbreak. If you rely on an unlock for 4.2, I mean for to uh, use your phone, don't do this because it will upgrade your baseband because currently there is no unlock. So if you're an iPhone 3G user who really wants to try out AirPrint but also use an unlock, um, weigh it. If I mean, if you have a other iPhone laying around, obviously go ahead and try it but if you don't it's your main phone I would put it down on the not so important until they come up with an unlock then once you come up with an unlock just go out and try my tutorial alright you, no, you're not going to be losing anything nothing's going to change between now and then unless a new firmware is released um, but if you don't rely on an unlock continue watching so you're going to have to have it jailbroken if you don't know how to jailbreak um, click on my face uh, the video for the jailbreak will be there so just click around my face and it will direct you to that video if your device is not already jailbroken. If it's jailbroken, go on to the next step. Uh, this is the final step. Um, a little key note, a little side note for the jailbreak. If you're jailbreaking for the first time or if you need to, uh, if you're already jailbroken and you, you did not do native multitasking, I generally say don't do native multitasking because it slows down your device. However, I would say do it for this because if you want AirPrint, you need it to work. You need multitasking to work. All right. So, if you have multitasking, you can go on to the final step. The final step is you're going to have to go to this website right here, Printopia for Mac. Just type in Printopia into Google, or this link will be in the description, and just check it out. Um. Then you'll be good to go. So this, uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, from here, you could probably figure it out yourself. Printopia is a seven-day free trial, so it's it's full feature, but it's a seven-day full uh, free trial. So if you don't want to have to buy it, you're gonna only have seven days. Or if you wanna cheap the company out of ten bucks, I guess you could maybe find a cracked version online. I don't condole that shit though. It's not cool. Um, pay your com pay the company. I understand like major corporations. It's still not cool. But when you're doing it to a smaller company, just don't. It's not cool. I've said it like five times now. But pay the developers. They put a lot of effort into it. For you guys to enjoy a product, you should just give them a little reimbursement. Now, what you do from that advice is up to you. Anyways. That was my little uh, word of wisdom. Back to the uh, video. So, you have your device, as you can see. Um, 
running 4.2.1. It needs to be running 4.2.1, the official version for this to work. Um, just, I'm just going to open up a website. So we'll open up, um, we'll go to Apple. Um, some side note, um, a couple c comments on this. It is so much faster, I think. It was laggy and just slow on 4.0 and 4.1. 4.2 has sped up my iPod Touch 2G to an un It feels like I'm on my 3G, all right? I have my 3G right here, and it feels like it is running the 3G, and I'm not because you just saw it running the 2G. It's just so much faster and clearer. Um, when I updated, I didn't update. Um, I did a complete restore, got rid of everything, and it was just it's really fast, guys. So um, if you are updated um, and it's not running fast and it's laggy and it's just not fun and it's just, you know, it feels like, oh, this device shouldn't be running this software, I'm telling you, restore, and it's just going to make a huge world of difference. In the sign note for the jailbreak, um, Cydia, the new Cydia, um, just opening it real quick. This Cydia is unbelievably fast. All right, it's loading kind of slow because it's going through this, but um, it is so fast. It is, it's probably two, it, three times, at least two and a half times faster than the old one. And it loads quick. All the pages render really fast, and it's just, it has a much cleaner, crisper feel. Before you had all the, that stuff on the top. Um, and it got all these errors constantly because they're out of date and your software was out of date or your software was in date and city you couldn't keep up with it. Now it's really fast. You still have to update when you first start, but it's just it's really fast. So I just thought I'd sh tell you guys that um, if you guys are not, if you guys are on the edge of updating because you think, oh well, I heard 4.0 is really buggy for iPhone Touch 2G and iPhone 3G. It was. It's not anymore. It worked out 95% of the bugs and. Kudos to Apple to, for making this feel like it's supposed to be running on this. Now you're gonna if you get native multitasking, um, the trade-off is native multitasking will make your device a little slower, but you'll get air print, air print. So it's really up to you. Um, I don't use my Apple Touch 2G that much, so this is just a tutorial. I'm honestly probably gonna restore it back to 3.1.3 and just keep it on that because um, even though it's really fast in 4.2.1. I like my I like the 3.1.3. Long story, not gonna get into it. All right, so now I've rambled on for let's see, it's almost eight minutes. So I'm gonna have to wrap this video up relatively fast. All right, guys. So I I stopped the video for a second, but I'm back now. Um, uninterrupted. I didn't change anything. I just had to stop the video for a second. So as you can see, we have Apple and Google. Let's just load up the website. Um, while it's loading, I'm going to just, if you have a HP desktop, I mean HD printer, HP, not HD, HP printer that, um, maybe I'll list it below, maybe I'll put a link to the description. Currently airport, AirPrint only supports 10 10 devices um, so it doesn't support that many but with Printopia it allows you to print to your Mac wirelessly so um, but, um, I know there are programs like AirPrint not AirPrint it's like wireless print in the App Store but you need to have it connected to your Mac you need to have an actual USB into your Mac in order for it to print um, as long as your Mac is connected to the network the print is connected to it will print right through that so it's kind of the same idea, but it's not. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, um, I've tried to make it as clear as possible. Basically, only AirPrint supports 10 printers right now, and five of them are sold by Apple. So it's kind of Apple's way of getting money from you guys. We don't. I don't have one that's supported by uh, AirPrint, but I have a Espen. E Espen, maybe that's E S P O N. And I've tried it; and it works. So. All right, so here's what you're going to want to do. You got your loaded, you got your page loaded. You're going to want to click here, and you're going to see add bookmark, add home, add mail page, and add print. Just hit print, and it's going to bring up print. All right, 
So just select the printer. And this is where the Printopia comes in. As you can see, it sees that it's installed on your Mac and it's connected to your Mac. Um, well, it's not connected to your Mac, but you know what I'm saying. Your why your phone, your phone or iPod see Printopia, and your Mac. I'm, my Mac is connected to the Espen My Printer, which is not wireless, so I'm not going to use it. And then just send straight to your Mac. So if you don't want to print it, but you just want to send an article to your Mac, you can just send to Mac, and it will then send it to your Mac. But I don't want to do that. So this will print it. Hit print. Uh, oops. And we will do print. All right. So it's gonna print. Let me just stop the video right now and make sure my printer is turned on so I can actually show it to you guys because it would be pretty bad if the printer wasn't turned on and it didn't do it. Alright, so as you can see, it is reading it. It says the printer is low on toner. So it's going to start printing now and I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to go grab the papers just to show you that it in fact did print. So I'll be back in a minute. And hey guys, so as you can see, I have the paper, the Beatles, printed directly off the Apple website. Um, it didn't print the whole thing because it was it was too big for the whole entire. I need to print the landscape. I didn't print it in the landscape. So if you're gonna print a huge page like that, you might wanna put it to your Mac first, then print it wirelessly. But you know you can do that from anywhere in the house. You could be downstairs in your basement, have your Mac up in your room, and I keep saying Mac because currently Printopia is only a Mac program. Um, there might be a Windows program like it, but I'm not 100% sure, so Google that, and you might be able to do the same thing, follow the same steps, just have to set it up for Windows, you know what I'm saying? But if you're going to print something large like that, you might just want to send it to your Mac and then get around to editing it, and if you don't, if you know it's not going to fill up the whole page like that, then you can just go and print it like wirelessly like that. So, we'll run it through one more time, all you do is hit print choose the page you want to print to hit print you can select as many copies as you want and then hit print all right so if you have any questions leave them in the description or personal message me and i will see you guys in the next video peace